Kayla Massa looks like a simple ratchet girl from Fresh and Fit. Turns out she's much more sinister than your typical OnlyFans girl. This YouTube video, Kayla Massa tells her 100,000 YouTube followers how to make money selling used clothing. I sell all my unwanted clothes. But federal prosecutors say the 22-year-old woman had a much more lucrative scheme. After amassing 300,000 followers on Instagram and over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, Kayla decided it was time to scam her fans many of whom were under 18. In February, she pled guilty to stealing $1.5 million from her fans' bank accounts, often stealing face-to-face -face from them at her local McDonald's. This came after a four-year trial delay, during which time she committed another crime and was busted for stealing $622,000 as a part of a small crime ring. She's one of the dumbest criminals I've seen and was hilariously easy to catch. Maybe she was one of those kids who ate Tide Pods. Let's explore how it all went down. Kayla Massa, known as Kay Goldie, was apparently the it girl in the beginning of Instagram, and many of her young fans wanted to be her. I have no idea what them Adidas pants would eat every time means, but it sounds very complimentary. These young fans adored her and were shocked and dismayed to find out she was a scammer. She gained her initial following with hair and makeup tutorials and fashion tips, eventually moving on to flashing money and promising to help her fans get paid. In early 2018, Kayla would post IG stories like these, advertising free money. When followers DM'd her, she would promise them up to $5,000 in exchange for helping her get a tax write-off. So even if this was a legitimate offer from her, I'm sure the IRS would not be too happy. Through this process, Kayla and her Ocean's Eleven crew, including her sister Lorraine, obtained the bank account info of their followers. Her co-conspirators also included Denjon McRae, a young upcoming rapper known as YC Woody. With hits such as Durkio, he was on his way to becoming the next hottest mumble rapper. Since I can't play the audio due to copyright, let's just all agree my flow is better. Between May 2018 and February 2020, the group used these accounts to deposit over 1,600 counterfeit or fraudulent checks, along with over 650 stolen or counterfeit money orders. In a press release, the Department of Justice stated that the crew had obtained at least $1.5 million. The investigation began in July 2018 when the U.S. Postal Service learned that 53 blank money orders had been stolen from the Berlin, New Jersey post office. In January 2019, police pulled over three of her co-conspirators and arrested two after finding outstanding warrants. In the car, they found 39 checks and two debit cards stashed inside the sunroof, as well as thousands of dollars in cash and several Bank of America withdrawal slips in the center console. Earlier that month, Massa and her sister made a YouTube video confessing that they'd been off social media because they had a lot going on. Investigators found over 1,000 fraudulent checks, 600 fraudulent money orders, and 53 USPS money orders, totaling an estimated $1.5 million. They were arrested in February 2019 and charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud and bank fraud. In February 2020, the criminal complaint was filed. This is the first case I've read where Instagram and Snapchat had to be explained. They even brought in 12-year-old Lucy Gibbons as their expert Snapchat witness. Just kidding, but I would have loved to sit in that courtroom and listen to the prosecutors explain to a 90-year-old judge what Snapchat is. She made a lot of money using highly illegal methods. Business owners, I want you to make more money in 2024 than you did in 2023 by leveraging a more effective method. And today, I partner with Nextiva, the sponsor of this video, because it is one of the absolute easiest ways to organize all of the communications in your company and make more money off relationships. Business is and always will be a relationship game. As they say, nothing happens until someone sells something. And with Nextiva, you can manage all of your sales and customer conversations in one place, and you can even create phone numbers in different area codes. So if you're dialing for deals, Nextiva will help you get more answers and close more deals. I have someone calling property owners right now trying to find real estate deals, and we don't want to use his personal phone or number, so we set him up with Nextiva. He's actually been able to get more answers because his area code matches where he's calling. Nextiva lets you create new phone numbers, gives you unlimited calling, texting, and an auto attendant that you can run from your phone or computer. You also get an AI-powered dashboard that will show you all conversations in one platform, including an AI voice and an AI chatbot that can interact with your clients for you. You get all this inside of one app. No longer will your team have to switch between 18 different apps to get the job done. Close more deals, take advantage of AI, and make your business more efficient today. Go to trynextiva.com slash Spencer Cornelia or use the link down below in the description to get up to 50% off your plan. So Caleb's scam worked like this. Step one, she would post stories of stacks of cash being counted or money orders and ATM receipts with cash along with an 
opportunity being offered. Step two, her followers would then DM her asking for more info. She would then explain how their bank account would be used for a legitimate and legal purpose. Step three, she would encourage them to empty their account before providing her with their debit card number and pin in order to calm their fears about losing money. Step four, she then arranged to meet them at a public place to obtain their info. The victim said they met with either Kayla, Kayla's boyfriend, or Kayla's sister, Larray. Step five, Kayla and her co-conspirators deposited fraudulent checks and money orders into these accounts. Step six, within two to four days of the deposits, they used bank and ATM withdrawals and purchased legitimate money orders to drain the accounts and launder the fraudulent funds. Step seven, once the original funds were discovered to be fraudulent, the victim's accounts would quickly go negative up to $1,000. Step eight, when the victims learned their bank accounts were negative, they contacted Kayla only to discover that they were blocked or ignored. Case documents show how she executed this plan and how she eventually got caught. On or about July 31, 2018, USPS Office of the Inspector General received a report of suspicious activity regarding 53 USPS money orders. Of the 53 money orders stolen, 30 were discovered deposited in various bank institutions during May 2018, each in the amount of $990 or $995. Western Union representatives advised the potential loss exposure was approximately $596,005, calculated based on the value of each money order at $995. On February 5, 2019, Winslow Township police officers conducted a motor vehicle stop at 250 Sicklerville Road in Sicklerville, New Jersey, on the black Nissan, but driven by Logan. There were two additional occupants inside the vehicle, Feliciano and McDaniels, Massa's Coke spiriters. Winslow police officers conducted a probable cause search and located 39 checks issued to Nissan Turnersville by Bank of America shoved inside the vehicle sunroof. Nissan Turnersville provided investigators with a list of all the fraudulent checks issued from Nissan Turnersville's Bank of America account during the month of February 2019, as well as a sampling of the check images. From that list, investigators identified the listed payees and banks where the unauthorized checks were deposited. On June 10, 2019, investigators interviewed an individual identified as A.S. who had approximately 50 Nissan Turnersville checks deposited into his or her Bank of America account. During the interview with A.S., he, she stated Massa arrived at his or her home in Blackwood, New Jersey to pick up his or her debit card in the black Nissan. At one point, Massa messaged AS with the following request. Massa said, you have Cash App? Like, linked on your account? Did you get any text from the bank yet? Can I do it again for tomorrow? I need a favor. Send $1,500 to this. AS provided a copy of an email received by Bank of America, which stated in the subject line, you've added Alex to your list of Zelle recipients, along with telephone number. Subscriber records obtained by investigators shows that this telephone number was subscribed to Alex Haynes. Investigators confirmed that the Cash App account Never Chilling was registered to Haynes. I'm sure Haynes will now have plenty of time for chilling behind bars. Basically, Kayla and friends issued many fraudulent checks from the same Nissan dealer, had the victims send money directly to a number registered to one of them, and then stuffed the remaining checks in their sunroof. I've only watched a couple episodes of CSI and I could have easily solved this one. After four years of trial delays, Kayla finally pled guilty in February of this year, and I think I know why. Turns out Kayla couldn't keep her hands out of the cookie jar even after getting busted. On February 19, 2023, Kayla was arrested again and charged with mail theft and check fraud, along with three others accused of stealing over $600,000. After all this, Kayla still wants to play the victim. In a post to her fans, she writes, People want me to delete myself so bad. Wrong one. I'm taking all this and turning it into positivity. I got me, my family got me, and most importantly, God got me. And through him, anything is possible. Come on, Kayla, your fans don't want that. They just want to see you in prison. But until that happens, as the saying goes, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your mailbox. Thanks for watching.